Alrighty, I'm going to do an experiment here. I'm going to take some Stritec clear resin, put some of my uh, blue ink dye in it, and we're going to see if we can make a really cool uh, effect here in a skull that I'm going to print. And I'm attempting to do a time lapse, a resin lapse. Got my new camera set up. Got the resin lapse cord set up from uh, Uncle Jesse, and uh, hopefully it's going to work okay. I'm not sure if it will or not, but we're going to try. So, go ahead and dump some resin in, get it going. All right. Put quite a few drops in there. Yeah, quite a bit of dye. Let me pre-mix that a little bit of the spatula. Real nice color. Very pretty. Yeah. Well. See how that comes out. Go ahead and start it and see if it works. Everything's tight, good to go. Get back, back, print. I think it's that. Yeah, that's it right there. Alrighty, let's see if this works. Maybe. Go ahead and take that off here. Using my cell phone right now. Let's see what we got. That looks nice. I guess I'll use that for a pencil holder. Or pens, I guess. Markers, pens. Very nice. Gotta clean it up, pull off the supports, and uh, cure it. Very cool. Alrighty, number two got done. Go ahead and take it off here so I can do this one handed. Take a look at it. So I added more dye this time. And it's looking real nice. Don't want to get any resin on my phone here, so I'm just going to wipe my hand off real good. Get my scraper out. I'm going to have to set down the phone for a minute. There we go. I'm going to show you how easy these supports come off here. I think I can do this one-handed. And that was that. Came off real good. Now let me throw that in some IPA and uh, get it all cleaned up. Yeah. It's going to be cool. Nice looking pencil holder. Or pen holder, I guess. Yeah, very cool. Tools or whatever. Awesome! I got two of them. I wanted one to be a little bit darker, so I put in more of the blue dye. And they both basically came out the same, but it did mix very well, and they came out nice. I'll put a link below where you can find this at. Uh, I believe I got it on Thangs, this uh, file. But that'll be an awesome pin holder. Or put wrenches or screwdrivers or just whatever in. But yeah, came out amazingly well. Very cool. And uh, Andrew Sink and uh, Uncle Jesse, thank you very much for this resin lapse cable. It is awesome. I love it, and I'm so happy that... I got to get a new DSLR camera for the first time and try it out. But I'll put a link below in the description where you can find a, where you can find all this at. The resin lapse cable, I'll put a link where you can find that. And where these models came from and the ink dyes that I used for this video. But thank you very much, everybody. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share the video. Happy resin printing. See ya.